Hi, I'm Stetson with Drone Genuity. In this video, I'm simply going over how to connect your drone to the Drone Deploy application. First and foremost, if you're using an Android phone, there's a quick setting you want to change before you even turn on your drone. You're going to want to go into the Settings app, scroll down to Apps, find the DJI Go app, tap Open by Default, and then tap Clear Defaults. If your DJI Go app has no default set, then you're good to go. iPhone users don't need to worry about this. The next step is to turn on and connect your drone as you normally would using the DJI Go application. This will allow you to check to make sure all your firmware is up to date, see any warnings, and also format your micro SD card before you take flight. It's also important to set your drone to the P mode or positioning mode as this is required for using Drone Deploy. Now, Android users might get some pop-ups while they're doing this. If you get a pop-up asking which application to use with this USB accessory, simply select the DJI Go app and then tap only once. Also, if you get a pop-up where either the Drone Deploy or DJI Go app is requesting access to the USB accessory, make sure you tap yes so these applications can communicate with your controller and your drone. Again, if you're using an iPhone, there's no need to worry about these pop-ups as you will not be getting them. After your drone is connected, again, what you really want to do is make sure there are no warnings, the software is up to date, and it says it's ready to take off. Again, you also want to make sure you do have it set into positioning mode, and if you wish, you can also format your micro SD card. At this point, after everything is ready to go, what you want to do is fully quit the DJI Go application. You do this on iPhones by double-clicking the home button and then swiping up on the app, and on Android phones, you simply tap the multitasking button and then swipe sideways. Now you can finally launch the Drone Deploy application. Drone Deploy should automatically detect your drone and connect with it, and you should get a message appear that says Drone Connected. If you do not see this message or your drone does not connect at this point, then what you want to do is quit both the Drone Deploy and DJI Go applications and restart your controller and your drone. On Android, if you get a pop-up asking which application to use with your USB device again, this time tap on Drone Deploy and the application should launch and the drone should connect. On iPhones, simply launch the Drone Deploy application after everything has restarted. If your drone is able to connect with Drone Deploy successfully, but you run into some other errors, then again it is recommended to try restarting your drone and controller for another attempt. If you have an experience like me where everything appears to be a go and then you get a pop-up last minute saying unable to start the mission, then I found a simple fix for this was just to take the drone off manually. By pushing the two control sticks down and together, I was able to start my propellers and take off. Once my drone was airborne, Drone Deploy was able to take control and successfully send my drone on its automated flight path. So those are the steps to take to successfully connect your drone to the Drone Deploy application. Again, to quickly recap, Clear the open by default setting for the DJI Go app on Android. Connect your drone and launch the DJI Go app as you normally would. Verify the software is up to date and the drone is ready for takeoff. Optionally format your micro SD card if you wish. Quit the DJI Go application, launch drone deploy, and you should be good to go. If you run into any other issues, I'll leave drone deploy's support forum linked in this video description. Otherwise, that wraps up this video. Feel free to like it if you found it helpful, and consider subscribing for more videos like this one. I'm Stetson with Drone Genuity. Thank you for watching, and I'll see you next time.